girl Renee and I'm here with an update on my seed germination in the Ziploc bags. As you can see, this one is my green um, bell pepper and I do not see any germination on this one yet. See, it still has, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there you go. It doesn't have any germination on that one. But the Lazio pepper, it has three that are germinating. You see this one right here is germinating. Close. This one's germinating. And the bottom two are germinating. So this pepper is coming right on time. Now let's check out the jalapeno pepper, this one is doing great. See how you can see those? Look at that one. Oh, this is a better camera angle. That one is doing great. So, I need to know when it's the roots are this long, is it time for me to put them in um, the little peat pods and let them start growing? As you can see, that one has uh, roots started on that. So jalapeno pepper, all right now, you do what you're supposed to be doing. All right, this is the red bell pepper. Let's check out the red bell pepper. As you can see, the red bell pepper has um, some roots on it as well. Pretty cool, huh? Nice, love it, perfect. That's exactly what it's supposed to be doing. And those black spots, I think um, those are starting to be mold, but I think the next time I'm going to put some of that um, peroxide in there to prevent the mold from starting. But I will get the seeds out way before it takes over. But those seeds with the um, red bell pepper are doing great. All right, let's look at the sweet tangerine pepper. This one, I don't see much action in this one. Um, I don't see. So this one I think needs a little bit more time to get it going. So I just wanted to bring you this update so you guys can see exactly what is going on with my bell pepper experiment in my zip lock bags. Not bad, huh? I am trying to get these bell peppers started. Let me see if I can show you that first one that we couldn't really see and that one was the green pepper and it doesn't seem like it has much growth on it yet see not much growth but it seemed like it's trying so I will continue to put this underneath the cabinet and let it stay in the darkness and let it see what it will do for me but I think this one right here the jalapeno pepper one I think um I'm going to go ahead and um, stick this one in the dirt because, like you say, this one looks like it's got a root and it is ready. I wonder if we can open, open this up and see because I know I was watching a lot of YouTubers and they were saying don't let it dry out and also the roots will get stuck on the paper towel. So let's see if this is happening with Miss Renee's. Let's see. Oh, there's, I mean, it's one, two, one, two, three, four. All right, let me bring you down so you can get a better close-up look like I am. Here you go. Here is the jalapeno pepper, and that's what the seeds are starting to look like. You got that one. Then you have this one. Little focus. Come on, focus. That one is doing good. And then you have this one up here. Where did it go? There you go. Right here. Which looks pretty good. So I am very, very pleased with um, the outcome of the jalapeno pepper. So I think today I'll stick these in some dirt and let them um, see how they they'll do in one of those um, pea pots. All right, guys. I see life. Woohoo! So I'm going to 
put them in their home and we are going to see what happens. All right, guys, I will come back and keep you updated with more of Miss Renee's experiment of these peppers in the Ziploc bag. So, thumbs up. It's a working. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.